Hello, I want to give you a quick demo today of Enterprise Vault 10 integrating into Outlook Web App on Exchange 2010. Enterprise Vault integrates tightly into Outlook Web App 2010 and it extends the Outlook Web App functionality and adds the Enterprise Vault functionality on top of it. This video is also a little bit of a comparison between what you had in Exchange 2007 OA with what you have on Exchange 2010. Installation is quite straightforward. You install a 64-bit extension onto each CAS server in your environment. There are some tech notes that cover CAS to CAS proxying and we'll cover those in a later video. It's a simple installation but there are quite a few configuration options that are necessary for some complicated environments. We'll cover some of those also in a later video. It's quite a simple MSI wizard that we run through. The only option really is to decide on the location of the binary files. The installer also checks some prerequisites, so if you try to run the OA2010 installer on Exchange 2007 for example, it will tell you that you can't do that. Once installed, there are sometimes some configuration steps that are needed. There's lots of information on these in tech notes, and for some environments, there is a tool called eVord which can be used to give information on what configuration changes might be needed. Most of the configuration changes that can be done are in a file called web.config. I'll show you now the section in the file. This is the web.config file. And these are the first two entries that the Outlook web access extensions have installed for us. That's the installation side out of the way for this environment as it's just a simple demo environment. What you can do once OA is installed is you can open, i.e. retrieve items, you can restore items, and you can archive items. You can also use Search and Archive Explorer much like you can in Outlook. All of this works with Internet Explorer. This is Outlook Web App. I'll quickly log in and then you can see the main interface in Internet Explorer. At the bottom left hand side you'll see the familiar Search and Archive Explorer links that were present in previous versions of the OA extensions. If you've used the EVR extensions before, what you will notice is that there's no toolbar. We'll see shortly how to work with archived items. Here you can see an archived item. If I double click on it, Enterprise Vault will retrieve the item and display it to me in a few seconds, like so. I can also manually archive an item. When you see I right click on an item here, I can choose Archive, like so. I can also restore items, but I won't show that here. One thing to note with all of this is that the default view with Outlook Web App is Conversation View. But this means that the Enterprise Vault options aren't available. In the end, you have to remember to turn off the Conversation View feature. It's just something that needs a bit of user education to get people used to doing it. You turn it off by unticking Conversation here. Finally, as I mentioned earlier, you can do search and archive explorer operations, just like this was Outlook rather than Outlook Web App. Here is search. And here is archive explorer. As a summary then, Enterprise Vault integrates tightly into Outlook Web App. Extensions are installed on each CAS server. Whilst there are lots of configuration possibilities for complex environments, in a simple environment the installation is very straightforward. You can also, when you're using the extensions, do a full range of EV operations, such as archiving, restoring, retrieving and so on, but these are only an option in Internet Explorer. I hope that showing you how Enterprise Vault integrates into Outlook Web App in Exchange 2010 is useful to you. Thank you. Goodbye.